Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how to install Resurrection Remix ROM on the Honor 8 Pro. I'll give a XDR thread link in the description box below from where you can find all the files which I'm going to use in this video plus specific installation steps will be mentioned in that XDR thread which you have to follow. Right now I'm going to follow these installation steps but if you're watching this video after a few months then I'll recommend you to go to that XDR thread and read the installation steps once again. If there are any changes in the installation steps then do follow those steps in order to make sure that you get the best experience when you install the ROM. If you have added any fingerprints on the Honor 8 Pro with EMUI then I'll recommend you to go into settings, search for fingerprint over here, fingerprint management in input 1234 or whatever password that you have select fingerprint id and delete that you have to make sure that you delete all the fingerprint ids and i do not have any fingerprint ids and that's why it is saying add a new fingerprint over here now we need to boot into the twrp recovery and uh, to do that if your device is rooted then i have downloaded this one application reboot to recovery select yes over here and the application will reboot your device into the twrp recovery mode directly and this application works only if your device is rooted if your device is not rooted then this application will not work once we boot into the twrp recovery select never show this again select swipe to allow modifications now going to wipe select format data type yes over here click on this button and it will wipe all the data which is present on your device including internal storage apps data of the apps so if you want to back up anything then back it up before you follow this method if you want to know how to back up data on your honor device then do watch my how to unlock bootloader and how to flash twrp recovery videos which will be linked in the i button over here now go back go back go back go back go back now going to wipe going to advanced wipe select vendor over here select swipe to wipe now go back and attach the usb type c cable to the honor 8 pro now i'm going to copy the three zip files which we are going to use in order to install the resurrection remix rom on the honor 8 pro once the zip files are copied you can remove the usb cable go into install select the vendor.zip and select swipe to confirm flash once the zip file is flashed go back go back go back select reboot select recovery over here, select do not install, the device will reboot itself into the TWRP recovery. Now going to wipe and select swipe to factory reset over here. Once that's done, go back, go back, go back, go into install, select the resurrection remix ROM zip file over here, select swipe to confirm flash. Once the zip file is flashed, go back and select the G apps package over here and select swipe to confirm flash. And if you have to flash the G apps package, otherwise you will not get the Google Play services, Google Play store and all the Google services working on your device. Once the G apps package is flashed, select reboot system over here, select do not install. And that's pretty much it. We have successfully installed the resurrection remix ROM and the device should boot into the resurrection remix ROM now. So we have booted into the system now and I'll set up the device and I'll talk to you guys when the fingerprint setup comes. Let's go over here. Let's skip this. So let's add a fingerprint sensor now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Done. Now here we have the option if we want to use the pixel launcher or default lineage OS ROM launcher but I prefer pixel launcher any day. So I'm going to select always over here and pixel launcher will remain my default launcher. Now let's lock the device and let's try to unlock the device. It will ask for pin once and now if I lock the device, oh my god, the fingerprint sensor is super fast or as good as how it was on the stock ROM which is EMUI. So as you can see the fingerprint sensor is really quick. The fingerprint sensor is working super fine and I, I don't think that I have any issues with that. And that's because I followed the steps which the developer has given on the XDA thread. You have to make sure that you follow the steps which the developer has given in the XDA thread which is linked in the description box below. I'm mentioning this multiple times because that's very important. 
If we go into about phone, you can find that the device is based on 7.1.2, which is the latest Android version that anyone can have at this particular moment. Plus the Android security patch level is July 5. So basically when you install a custom ROM, which is updated regularly, you get the latest security patch level. You do not get the same in the default stock ROM, which is EMUF or the Honor 8 Pro. I have already made a separate video on all the customization options, which are present in the Resurrection Remix ROM. I'll leave a link to that video in the i button over here. So don't forget to watch that video in order to make sure that you get most out of this Resurrection Remix ROM. But let me tell you one thing that all the customization options are present in this configurations button, which is present in settings. And there are tons of things which can be changed from over here. So it's awesome in my opinion, like Resurrection Remix ROM is best when it comes to customization and it's far better than EMUI. Or personally, I'll prefer Resurrection Remix ROM as stock ROM on the Honor 8 Pro over the EMUI any day. If you want to flash this ROM, do follow this video. If you have already flashed the ROM by following this particular method, which I showed in this video, don't forget to comment about that in the description box below. Plus, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a huge fat thumbs up and let's see if we can reach 500 likes on this video. So yes, this is pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And if you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this particular ROM or this video, then let me know about that in the comment section box below. All the features which are present in this particular ROM or the all special features are present in the XDA thread which is linked in the description box below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet then don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.